I'm obsessed with one right now. Rhea Ripley? Rhea Ripley. Oh, me too. Who isn't? Mo me too. She is such a badass. How did you, a lot of people don't know how you initially broke into the business. How did it happen for you? Beside your great um, looks. Well, it was a very odd way. My boyfriend was a big wrestling fan. Okay. We went to a show in Los Angeles, a WCW show. I had gotten in a couple fitness magazines. So I had a couple pictures, you know, and Kevin Nash recognized me <gasps> from a fitness magazine. Right. And uh, approached me. We, my, my boyfriend got backstage to meet some of the wrestlers. Uh, Kevin Nash saw me and asked if I'd be interested in doing a little storyline idea that they had cooked up for Ric Flair and his son. Were you a fan? Had you watched wrestling before I had that? not really. I had. I didn't have cable growing up. I grew up in a very small town and I just, I didn't know much about it other than my boyfriend would watch it sometimes. Right. Um, and I was trying to be an actress. I was, didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wanted to be in the entertainment industry. So it was in the entertainment industry. Right, exactly. It was supposed to last three months max, this little gig. Yeah. And that gig just turned into a 10 year. Wow, so Kevin Nash put the key in the ignition for he you. He did. Wow, do you still chat with him? I do, yeah. 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 yeah, I keep in touch with him too as well. Great. Great, uh, great guy. Very uh, always says what's on his mind, but a very warm-hearted person. Absolutely, he's a good guy. Did he try and recruit you for the NWO after a while? Well, initially, see that I was in the NWO. Oh, very, see, I, I for forgot that. Time. I forgot that. It's kind of yeah, but it was a very short stint with the NWO, and then I moved on to uh, Billy Kidman, who then oh, right. became yes. my husband. I remember. I remember. I remember. Yes, yes, I remember yeah. very, very well. So, in your days in WCW, if people would ask you for the, the highlight of things you did back then, is there one that just rises to the surface? In WCW? Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't there for very long. Uh, it was probably like a year. Yeah. Um, at the time, I didn't realize how, what a cool thing it was that was happening, yes, right? Yeah. But looking back, I think the, my first pay-per-view in WCW, um, when I turned on, uh, I, I helped David turn on his yes, dad. Yes, not, not, not she turned him on, I it's did. right. I helped David Flair turn on his dad and being in the ring with right. the NWO, like it was, I didn't realize what a cool opportunity that was until later in my career and I realized what it was. One of the people that you were around regularly in WCW was the icon Sting. And he just announced that next year he is retiring. This is it. He's currently in AEW. Um, what was your relationship like with Sting and, and watching him work and seeing him backstage yeah. and speaking with him? Uh, my interactions with Sting have always been like, He's just a class, yes. class act. Yes. And he's like a, a notch above all of us. Yep. He is so humble. He's such a big superstar. He's such a mega talent. And he also takes the time for us little people, you little know? People. Okay, that's so, great. If he's watching this and he's retiring, what would you like to say to him? Well, I would. What a run. I'm such a big fan, uh, not only of the performer that you are, but even more importantly, the person that you exude over all these years. You haven't changed, and uh, it's incredible. I'm getting the chills. Just yeah, yeah, no, I stay it. in touch with him regularly. So, uh, yeah, I know it's like one of the nicest gentlemen in or out of the wrestling business. He really Makes is. a difference. So, what are you doing these days now, beside being here uh, uh, on the after chat and uh, chatting with me? I, gosh, I have invested in a few businesses online. I promote health and wellness online. I'm big into social media. Oh, how do people um, find you on social media? On Instagram, it's Tori Wilson. Okay. And Twitter, Tori11. Facebook, Tori11. Uh, not do, I haven't done the TikTok thing yet, but okay. there right. we are. You will, you, you will get there. How do you keep yourself in such great shape? You know, it's just become such an ingrained part of my life. It, yeah. I do it first and foremost for my 
mental state. Yeah. Uh, it started off when I was young as just wanting to look good, but now it's like something I need every day. I don't feel right without. It's like second nature to you now, yeah. huh? Yeah, that's great. Do you still follow the business at all? I do. So yeah, who somewhat. is who is the top female performer these days? I know you. Uh, I'm asking you this question because I don't want you to get any heat with the other ones. But right, if you had one will. female performer that you could watch at this point and say, I've got to see everything she does, who is that? Yeah, that's a lot of really good ones. But well, go, you can I'm obsessed. More than one. I'm obsessed with one right now. Rhea Ripley? Rhea Ripley. Oh, me too. Who isn't? Mo me too. She is such a badass. She yeah. is. I mean, they're all incredible. And I've gone through, definitely gone through periods where I'm, I've been like super obsessed with Charlotte and then super obsessed with Sasha Banks. Yes, of course. But I mean, and Bianca's back oh, now. Oh, Bianca. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're all so, they're all up there, right? Yeah. But Rhea yeah. Ripley right now is just shot killing it. So let's say, let's. I love to do these fantasy things real quick. Tonight, it's going to be you in your prime <laughs> against even then <laughs> against Rhea Ripley. Come in real close, if you would, sir. Rhea Ripley. In a she's watching this promo. In, eggnog match, though, right? In a what? Eggnog Egg, match. That's, I mean, that, in my prime, that's kind of the match. No, no. Let's do this as a straight match. <laughs> you have you've now been trained. Yeah. And you're now in uh uh, you're now in the best shape of your wrestling career. Yeah. Rhea Ripley's out there. She wants to wrestle you. Tell her out there what oh. you're going to do to her. <laughs> Rhea, I'm going to step into that ring and I'm going to be ready to kick your ass. You know what? It's going to take one move, one little bit slap to my face and I'll be down. I know you got me, but you know what? I'm so obsessed with you. I'll let you pin me. I'll let you kick my ass for free. Okay, that's my promo on you. Wow. I, that's a horrible promo, but I, I love her no, so no, much. No, no, that was you great. Know? Do you want to join the Judgment Day? <laughs> I, yeah, I do kind of love them. Wow. I, I'd have to turn heel, but you know, that's... Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you got to do that. Thank you so much for this uh, after chat here at Sports Keto. Thanks for having And uh, again, where can people find you on social media? Tori Wilson on Instagram, Tori11 on Twitter and Facebook. I'm right. on Instagram mostly. Bill After with Tori Wilson, and we'll see you, if you wouldn't mind pointing out, we'll see you at the matches.